so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to talk about how you can create that kind of basic here in blender with the help of the particle system so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial so in this video we are going to talk about each and everything how we can create a hair how we can set up the shader for the hair and we'll also talk about how we can create a stylish hair something like this here you can see here we have a that kind of curlyish hair so how we can create that kind of hair as well so make sure you watch this tutorial till end so now let's start the tutorial so here you can see guys here i have a that uh, project file and if i'm just going to play the animation again so here you can see we have a that kind of animation here okay so first of all i just want to open a new file so let's start it so here you can see guys here we have a one basic human head which is i have downloaded from the internet and i have also did one thing into this head basically what i did exactly i just add the mirror modifier into this head so we'll just work only one part and so second part will be updated automatically so we don't need to work on a both side of this head okay and one more thing i did also so what i did i'll just uh, select that area where we want the basically the hairs okay so in these part we want the hair so which is i have selected okay so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to my object data property and here i'm just going to add the new vertex group and i'm just going to give this vertex group name as a hair something like that and i'm just gonna go to edit mode of this head and then i'm just going to click the assign okay and now i'm just going to exit my uh, edit mode and then i'm just going to my particle settings okay and here i'm just going to add the new particle pressing this plus icon so here you can see we have a, a particle into our scene so first of all i will just change the emitter as a here so it will look like this right now okay so first of all we'll just change the length of this here because that is too much right now yeah i think that much length is look fine to me and before doing any setting we have to just scroll it down okay and go to the your vertex group section okay and here we have to select that group that hair group okay and we have to select into our length part as well yeah something like that so now here you can see we can see only the particle that area where, where we have select these vertices basically okay so that's so great but there is one problem also so we can't see the hair on the another part okay and which is not looking cool right now so if you're facing also this problem so so you have to just go to your source setting and here you have to just enable this use modifier stack so now it will uh, show in your whole head basically okay so now i'm just going to enable this advanced setting from here and i think we should increase little bit length of these hairs i think that's look fine okay we can increase the one more segment now i'm just going to scroll it down and here i'm just going to enable the hair dynamic so what it does exactly this hair dynamic it will create a little uh, bounciness into your hair basically okay so right now here you can see if i'm just going to play the animation so nothing going to happen right now but if i'm just going to uh, check this hair dynamic so now you will see some little dynamic happening into your scene basically okay so make sure you enable this uh, hair dynamic from here and you have to just uh, increase little collision quality from here and little quality step as well okay so you can do six yeah, i think six look fine to me and apart from that you don't need to change anything from here you can you can just close this settings then you have to just scroll it down and here you have to just uh, see this path option under this render settings so you have to just enable this b spline and increase little step at least six and then you have to just scroll it down and under this children section so make sure you select this simple then you have to just scroll it down and go to the on your hair shape and here you have to just decrease little diameter of the road so i'm just going to little decrease this road basically i think 0.86 it look fine to me and apart from that you don't need to change anything you have to just play the animation and let's see how your hair is look like basically so here you can see now that's look fine that's so cool also okay great so we'll just take one render and let's see how it's look like so for that i'm just going to switch my rendering mode so here you can see right now it's look like this so we have to just take a render to look the final uh, result so i'm just going to my camera view okay but before hitting the f12 make sure you just play the animation once and uh, hold it here basically okay now you can take a render uh, let's see what we will get so everything will look fine to me but except i just see these hair thickness is little uh, high so we have to decrease this thickness 
and we have to also change the uh, that hair color also okay so let's do it so first of all we'll just uh, hair dynamic as a one okay and then we'll just uh, go to our material section and here we'll just create a new material create a new material from here okay then i'm just going to change the surface as a principal here bsdf okay and we'll just give this name as a hero yeah something like that then we'll just again go to our particle settings and under the render setting we'll just change material as a hero okay so now we can see our hair color is changed now i'm just going to take a render one more time and let's see what happened and one more thing guys make sure after complete your process you apply your mirror modifier okay so which is give you a perfect result so here you can see if i'm just going to play the animation yeah and let's see okay so let's take one render okay guys so everything look fine to me right now that hair color is also look fine to me and that thickness of the hair is also look fine to me okay so everything look fine so now we'll just talk about how we can uh, create uh, some stylish and curlish hair in blender so for that i will just change this slot as a first and then i'm just going to my particle settings here and here i'm just going to scroll it down and under the kink option you will see the kink type so right now it's set as a nothing so here we have a lots of uh, style of the hair so we'll just use as a curly so we have to just play the animation one more time and now i'm just going to hit a f12 and let's see what we get okay so here you can see guys we are getting that kind of hair shape here so we'll just check the another effect so we'll just use as a wave effect and we'll just again do little simulation and then we'll hit, hit the f12 okay so that's look fine guys here you can see but i think we need to decrease the uh, thickness of these hair because right now it's look too much thick so you can decrease and increase the thickness of your hairs from the under the hair shape section you will see this diameter roots so you can check and play with these values whatever value gonna uh, perfect for you just take a render for it okay so that's how you can create that kind of hair in blender with the help of the particle system which is super easy trick so i thought i should share with you so i hope you learn how you can add a basic hair setup in blender so thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys